Hello, it's Phil for Digital DJ Tips, and I've got the Reloop Wave 5 monitor station speakers to talk to you about today. Now, these are a powered monitor. Now, that means it has its own amplifier built into it. They come in pairs, and they're really well priced. For what you get, I think these are a great value for money monitor. They're useful for DJs, also for, for producers, for bedroom producers, if you want a, a home studio that you use for production as well as for DJing, they're great. They are, as you can see, a really practical size. You know, these are gonna fit into any room without dominating the place. And I think their styling is pretty understated, pretty plain, pretty kind of like fade into the background, do the job kind of styling. And I like that, I think that's, that's nice in a monitor. They're front ported, which is what this uh, slit is at the front here, just uh, it's a base port. Uh, and they have a five inch driver here and a dome tweeter uh, and that's why they're called the wave fives there's a wave eight as well which has got an eight inch um, woofer main speaker so the 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 selling point of these really and the reason why i think they're so nice is that they are they're kind of modeled on this pioneer has a range of speakers that does this as well and they're completely modeled on them they came out after the pioneer speakers but it's such a good idea that i'm not surprised people are sharing it around and that is basically that you get this with them now this looks like some of those remote controls you might have seen for your computer, you know, like really trendy volume control that can sit next to your PC on your desktop, and that's really what it is. It sits on your desktop, and it is a volume control for the monitors. Now, I'm going to show you the back of the monitors so that I can explain a little bit more. If you're not used to what a DJ monitor does, then this is gonna help you. So, as I said at the beginning, these are powered. They have their own amplifier built in. Now, there isn't one amplifier for both of them. A bit like, you know, computer speakers, quite often there's one of them is the master and the other one is the slave. Or if you have a computer speaker system with two little ones and a subwoofer, then the woofer quite often has all the, all the gubbins in it. Well, these are proper monitors and that means that they're, they're made in a different way. Each of these is identical and they could be used apart if you wanted, they're, they're quite capable of working apart. So each has its own power supply, its own on off switch, its own built in amplifier, so there's a little volume control for the amplifier there, its own input selector because there are three different inputs, it's one of the things I like about these, they've got um, an RCA input, a jack input and an XLR, these two are balanced so you've got a whole choice of inputs there and there's a tiny switch there that lets you decide which input you're going to be listening to. So this is an independent speaker and that's an independent speaker as well. Now normally with, with monitors, what happens is that you, you plug them in independently, they have their independent volume controls, you feed the left hand signal to the left hand one and the right hand signal to the right hand one, you turn them on and off when you want each one on and off. So there's a bit of work goes into setting everything up and so on. And what these speakers have tried to do is get around that. And they, it does it in quite a clever way. There's a little link socket here. Now into that link socket, you can put a provided lead, just plugs in there and that goes around the back of your setup to the other speaker. So the speakers are now linked, they can now talk to each other. And there's also a little control socket here, and that is where this plugs in. So now you've got these two are linked, even though they're, they're being fed individually, they've got their own power, they've got their own on-off button, they've got, their own, um, they've got their own volume control, and they've got their own audio input, they're actually linked. So once you've set up everything I just described, this will do the rest for you. So the tiny little volume control there, you set it once on them both so it's the same. The input select there, um, you don't need any more because this has got that on, I'm gonna get onto that. So basically, once you've got your system set up and you've plugged this in, and you've put this somewhere on your desktop, somewhere near to where you uh, are gonna want to control your speakers from, that's it. This has got a, a standby button, so you can turn your speakers into standby, standby mode and on with this, so there's no reaching around the back to turn them on and off anymore. It's got an input button which cycles through these through inputs. So you could have your DJ controller plugged into one, you could have, um, you know, a, I don't know, some studio gear plugged into another one, you could have your computer wired into the third one, or if you're using these in a, you know, you live in an apartment and your studio is in your living room, you could have your TV or your home cinema system going through. So basically you can get everything wired in, get it wired in once and then use this to switch. There's no leaning around the back to pull leads out and plug leads in and so on. This is a really well made thing, it's solid, it's solid, feels solid, it's got kind of like rubberized feet and a bottom half and the top half is metallic uh, with a really big pleasing uh, knob to turn your volume on and off there. It's good fun to use that and it's nice to control your monitors in that way. 
What else have they got? Well, they've got these few tiny little switches at the top here. High frequency trim and low frequency cutoff are just for tuning your room a little bit. Now, these are power amplifiers. This big heat sink is part of the power amplifier. They're not designed like a hi-fi with a big bass and treble or whatever. They are, um, these are just simply for setting, setting and forgetting, putting in your room and saying, you know, my room's a little bit bright. I'm gonna tail the high frequencies off a little bit, or, you know, it's a bit boomy. I'm just gonna cut off the very low bass. And um, there's another one called acoustic space, which I don't really understand, but um, it's, it's a similar idea. It's just a very fine tweak to the sound. So you set these to what, however suits your speaker positioning in your room and whatever dampening furniture and stuff you've got in the room, uh, and then you leave them. Uh, and then any other EQing is done on the equipment that you've got plugged into them, such as your DJ controller or your, um, you know, a mixer has got EQ on it or whatever. So um, you, you, you set and forget these, you set them up, and this is your master control over them. So um, I don't really have anything I don't like about these monitors. They're, they're well priced, they sound really nice. Um, I've been using them for a few months now and as an all-rounder I think they're one of the nicest monitor speaker I've ever tested. They give you the best of both worlds. They give you the the purity of a proper monitoring system with independent amplification and a pure signal with not much messing about going on with a little bit of the convenience of you know, a domestic hi-fi system, a domestic sound system, you can put lots of inputs in them. You can then easily control those inputs without having to be continually reaching around the back. And you know, in a busy studio where a lot of us have got other things to do as well as make music and DJ, I think that's a smart move. These are gonna fit in somewhere between professional and amateur. They're gonna be, you know, the serious amateurs are gonna like these. If you're a DJ who's dabbling in production, you're gonna like these. And as I said earlier, if you're in a, a real multi-use environment, maybe your living room is also your studio, is also your DJ practice room, they're a perfect all-round speaker. So that is the Reloop Wave 5s. There's a full review with up-to-date pricing and availability information, as always, on the Digital DJ Tips website. And please don't forget to subscribe if you find these tips useful at digitaldjtips.com slash join.